Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried to outfish oh, it? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, fish on! <laughs> fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Oh, Winter fish trying to attack me. Winter, spring, summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout. Halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help you. Stand like a man, now fish stand like a woman. Get it! Oh no! You need help! I got him! Here, give me your. <laughs> it slipped! It slipped! Whoa! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Fish on! Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. You are? Oh. Couldn't recognize you. Oh, there you go. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong. <laughs> and we're in the studio, and we're going to talk about the show we shot up at Lake Party on Smallmouth. Okay. We did something really unique. I've, I've never done this before. It's called bed fishing. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I like to emphasize on bed fishing is, you know, practice catch and release because those are the spawners. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, we're going to go out and show the viewers how to catch them. And we're actually looking for the fish, aren't we? Yeah, you're actually sight fishing. We're cruising down the bank. Or mm -hmm. just pick a flat bank. You know, I look at the topo map and I mm -hmm. see where these little humps come out. Uh -huh. And then I'll go down and I'll start cruising along the bank. Smallmouth usually spawn in anywhere from two feet down to 15 feet of water. Okay. You can see down 12 feet here easy. Oh yeah. And you got to have a good pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. Now I usually try to keep the sun at my back. Yeah. Well, why do you do that? Um, it gives me, I don't get no glare mm -hmm. off the water mm -hmm. and also the fish can't see you okay. as well. And we just kind of move around looking for the fish? No, I look for beds. Beds? Yeah. You, what you do is remember how I go along and I said, hey, look at those little white rocks. Uh-huh. Well, everywhere like, those, look like, right, see those little white rocks right there? Yeah. That's a bed. And if you look, okay. you'll see a formation of a circle. And, and there's a fish. And there's a fish. And mm -hmm. actually, the bigger the circle, uh -huh. the bigger the fish. All right. Because they actually fan it. So if you get a big fish there and he fans, obviously the hole's going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. So I, those are the ones, that, you know, we're going along and I see a, the white rocks and I see a little circle. I said, Warren, there's your fish. Mm -hmm. And we go along and I, I see a, a uh -huh. white rocks and I see a big circle. Yeah. That's mine. <laughs> 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 see, you know now. You're a nice guy. <laughs> now, how deep are we here with, with this fish? This fish is probably in about five, six feet of water. Five, six feet of water. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing about smallmouth is that they cruise more than largemouth. Okay. Largemouth, what we call the term seer lure, mm -hmm. we would actually say the fish is locked on a bed. Well, they just sit there and they don't move. Okay. Smallmouth, they cruise. Okay. They come in and out, in and out, like they're checking, you know, to see if someone's breaking into their home. Mm -hmm. And they'll cruise around, and that's what we did. We threw your lure, which is, uh, you were using a, it looked like a little beaver. Mm -hmm. We threw it past the target, drag it into the bed and leave it there. Mm -hmm. And you wait till that fish, see, he's probably about 15, 20 feet away. And mm -hmm. it'll cruise back. And you could actually tell by the way that they move their body mm -hmm. and when they're going to attack. Now, when, is, is color important on this? Um, I just use, like to use something that I could see. But yes, it does. I'll have like three or four rods set up with different stuff. Okay. Worm, beaver, gets it, Senko, mm -hmm. swim bait, you know, just to aggravate them. Yeah. They're not eating. They're hitting it. If you let him pick your lure up, he'll take it out of the bed, spit it out. So he just sucks up and spits, spits it, it out. right out. Yep. Okay. That's why I told you when you see him tilt up mm -hmm. and their nose goes to your bait, just set okay. up. Just like this, huh? Yep. Watch. As soon as he tilts his head. That's your bait there. Bam. 
Oh, oh, oh. See, so he's oh. looking, he's looking, see how he's tilting his head. Mm -hmm. He's coming in, he's coming into the bed. Got Wham. It. Got there it. You go. Oh, he All got right. it. See that? Mm -hmm. put the, I put the bed, the bed, the lure right in the bed. Mm -hmm. And she came up and ate it. Wow. Well, you lost it. Oh, catch and release. That's catch and release. All right. right. <laughs> Oh, so that's that's bed fish. That's bed fishing. Okay, what happened there, Alan? Uh, it's called catch and release. <laughs> <laughs> we we had quite a bit of that catch and release, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We a lot of them came unbuttoned. You know, we're using light stuff. We're mm -hmm. using. I was using four. I think you had uh -huh. six pound tests. Yes. And some of them took a long time to bring them. These are these smallmouth. I think I was underrating the weights on them. Mm -hmm. You know, they look like around five. Six pounds, yeah. you know, but I think I had one close to seven pounds. Yeah. That day. Well, let's uh, let's talk about that a little bit more after the commercial break. Let's go okay. to commercial. And we'll be back with more fun fishing. All right. Good. Alan, we're at Lake Pardee. We're at Lake Pardee, and we're um, looking for spawning smallmouth. Spawning smallmouth. Yep. And how do we we see them again? Um, good pair of. Polarized glasses, mm -hmm. keep the sun at your back if you possibly can, and just cruise down the bank. Okay. And like I said, remember a topo map, I'll find mm -hmm. the humps out there and I'll go to them. And I want to be looking anywhere from 2 to 15 feet of water. Why is the sun at my back? So I don't get no glare mm -hmm. and I can see the better angle at the fish. Okay. Now, does it make a difference if a shadow goes across the bed or something? Um, no, it doesn't bother me. See the white rocks? Uh huh. That's a bed. I mean, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. And this is why I told you to pitch over there, hurry up, mm -hmm. pitch over okay. there, you pitch over there, you got your... I, I did, yeah. You got your bed, you drag it into the bed and leave it mm -hmm. there and you wait till that fish comes back. Mm -hmm. Now watch, coming back. Yeah. And it... Take it! Hit it! Oh, hit your bait. Got it! All right. Woohoo! Did you see that? Yeah! Oh! oh you lost him! <laughs> <laughs> Don't give them blow by blow. I see that fish come around, you know, and it it went around, it went away, went oh, around, man. then it went like that. He Get lost ready. Them. <laughs> but you know what happens? That fish turned around, what was that, came back on the bed, uh huh, and I pitched mine in there. What can I and, say? You know, one thing about them, I've even caught them, let them go, mm -hmm. and actually they swam back and caught them again. Now he came back. That fish came back. She came back. She's looking yeah. at mine. She's looking at mine. I put my right in the bed, and you watch. She'll turn around. She's she's cruising. See her looking. Mm -hmm. She's probably angry because yeah. <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> you got her mad. Yeah. There she goes. Fish on. Oh, oh. You see that? Yeah. You got him. Fish on. It's a nice sized fish too, isn't it? Yeah. Warren had them too. <laughs> you know, right before she bit you, her, mm -hmm. did you see how she was acting kind of funny? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should have had you net them. Nice fish. But after you cast these, make sure you put them back. You know? mm -hmm. These are your spawner. Come on, Alan. Should be netting it for me. Oh man, what a beautiful small Look one. at that. That's five pounder. That's a gorgeous fish. Five pound smallmouth. Fun Cut around a bit. Yeah. On fun fishing. Yeah. Now that's a beauty. This would be a like a lifetime catch for people. This is about five plus. Well, that was a lifetime loss for me. <laughs> <laughs> you had them. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh, here we're back again, looking for beds on the water, aren't we? Yeah, we're back down there cruising, and uh -huh. when you get a ripple like that on the water, it's really hard to see them. Oh. 
Fish on, Warren. Oh, oh yeah. fish on. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Did you see that? Got off. Catch and release. Here we're, we went back into a cold. Mm -hmm. And this is probably one of the uh, very few largemouth that we saw on beds. Mm -hmm. The smallmouth will usually bed first. Pop the worm in there, bam! The female's still there. Okay. Oh, catch and release. <laughs> yeah! Hey! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh! What was that? Oh. Catch and release. Catch and let go. Catch and let go. <laughs> <laughs> You've been oh. watching me too much. Yeah, well, I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fun fishing. <laughs> There's a lot of big smallmouths in there. But just remember, like when you're bed fishing, look for them white rocks. Well, we caught a few fish already. Yeah, we did. All yeah. right. Good day. Well, let's uh, let's take a break. Let's come back and talk a little bit more about the equipment. Okay. And uh, show more of uh, the, the fishing there at uh, Lake Park. Now, let's talk about the, the tackle we're using for bed fishing. Mm -hmm. When you're bed fishing, you want to use a, a spinning gear, mm -hmm. and I use a six and a half foot rod, usually the line rating six to twelve, fast taper. Uh -huh. So that you means can, it just bends on the bends tip. on the tip. So you got a lot of hook setting power. You can see I even setting hard because we're catching fish, mom out there. You know they're big, and their mouths are tough. Mm -hmm. And then you just need a reel to carry like four or six pound tests, a hundred yards. Okay. And that's a spin, just a spinning. Just spinning gear. Okay. Yep. And then the, the bait we're using. And we we're using. Uh, crawdad imitations, you know, mm -hmm. like that one and this white one, and okay. um, just something to tick them off. Okay. And, and you need to be able to, to see it in the water, don't you? Because yeah. there's reflections. So Whatever okay. you can see best, that's okay. what I'll use. And then later in the day, we went to uh, swim baits. So and wake, wake baits, baits, trying to get a big one. And you explained that on the water, so let's go to the lake and okay. talk about that. All right. Yeah, what we're doing, <clears throat> it's midday, and anytime you get like a good breeze to come up, and I like to go to um, topwater lures, like especially like wake baits. Pardee's a sleeper as far as I'm concerned for big fish, but when the wind comes up in the afternoon, mm -hmm. that's a signal to go over to hit these points out on the main body. And I like to throw these wake baits because those fish will start to move up and they'll sit on the edges. You know, I can see the bottom in 10 feet, but those fish will come up right to the edge where you can see like a color disseration. Mm -hmm. And throw the wake bait over, they can see 10 feet up, and they just come up and explode on this thing. This is a good way of catching big fish. I mean, you know, ones that you would actually want to mount and put them on your wall. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's just this time of day, you got to have wind, which we got now. Let's talk about the, the rods that we need for these these heavy baits and the line. Yeah, these are, these are actually what we call um, a wake bait. Mm -hmm. And you need, uh, you don't need those big muscle swim bait rods like we had in the past. These are just like a seven foot um, heavy pitching rod. And I run 20 pound tests and a lot of times I use a braided line because it helps me keep it up off the water and it's easier to work the bait. But I'm using 20 pound test mono today, five to one gear ratio reel. And you just want something like a pitching rod with a lot of backbone to it. And we're just basically like fishing top water. So hopefully, you know, we can show you how big a fish there are in this lake. Because there is a lot of big smallmouth and a lot of big largemouth. You just throw it out, reel it in, vary the speed. Sometimes they like it fast, sometimes they like it just waking it back at one speed. Uh -huh. But it's a very deadly bait to get big fish. Okay. <laughs> get fish on! Woo. What do you have, Alan? I got a nice one. <laughs> we crushed that thing. Well, that's the same one you had earlier. <laughs> Whoa. There's a nice small mile. <laughs> so that's what they look like, huh? About a good four, maybe four and a half. What do you have, Alan? I got one on that. I got one on that swim bait. <laughs> That's not a bed fish then, is it? No. <laughs> Look at the lures bigger than the fish. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! Guess something? Yeah. Wow. Look how big the lure is compared to that fish. 
<laughs> it tells you how mean and aggressive they are. Yeah. They just don't like anyone in their territory, do they? Nope. Uh-huh. They're pretty fish, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good combo, huh? Yeah, that's fun fishing. Fish on? Yeah, got one. There's a, there's another fish with her too. Oh, powerful yeah. mother. Gone again. He did something. Huh? Fish is getting hot. Yeah. Fish on. Got him. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's getting prey out, Alan. I could tell it was getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I could land this one. <laughs> Boy, it's a nice one. It sure is. Boy, it took a lot of persistent work, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> Sit there and tease them until they get so mad that they have to take you see it. See, it kept coming back though, like it was on point. Uh huh. Getting mad. <laughs> Just pull, Alan. <laughs> Here, you want to reel me in? <laughs> You have a net here when you just net. You can. Four pound test, so I gotta be careful. Yeah. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay, you ready? Here he comes. Ready. Oh, nice one. Look at that puppy. Oh, Boy, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Here's your fish, Alan. Got him. See, that fish didn't look that big, but that fish will go about five pounds. All right. And that's a smallmouth. Yeah. I mean, look how healthy these things are. Wow. Big fish. Big fish is right. See the hook mark on his lip? Yep. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah. Got one? Yeah! It took oh. long enough. Took a long time, yeah. Woohoo! Keep out an hour. <laughs> yeah. Patience. 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 Oh, beautiful fish. It once, got off, beautiful and then he fish. caught it. Isn't it? I don't know, we haven't seen it yet. Oh, right here. All right, yeah. about two pounds, like I said. Yeah. Not a pretty fish. Fish gave you all that headache. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Fun fishing. All right. Back in the water. Well, Alan, long day. <laughs> Tell me about it. Big Shoot. fish. Yeah, well, you know, biggest smallie was about six pounds, so that's a nice fish. Yeah, we actually targeted smallmouth today on beds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can't stress how important it is to, you know, if you want to mount one, mm -hmm. just get the measurements and your taxidermy will get it mounted for you. Don't keep it. Let it go. So we're, we're also throwing the big swim baits. Throwing the wake baits, you know. Um, actually caught two full of big fish. It's yeah. just not a lot of well, people know it, about it. And our host here today has, has been the party recreation mm -hmm. owner, and, and that's Richard Cooper. And Richard, can yeah. you come in here and... We really appreciate the, the opportunity of being on the lake. And, yeah, I and, appreciate and you guys fishing. coming out here. <laughs> yeah. You, see, you, shot, you uh, kind of taught me a few things today. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we have, a, we have a great time fishing. And if they want to check out information here, because you got a lot of stuff here, don't you? You have uh, 
RVs? Yeah, we have seasonal RVs. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, camping. We've got day use. We've got a restaurant. Well, you've got a marina. Got a marina. Yeah. We rent boats. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got, got a lot of trout. Stories. <laughs> we got a lot of trout. Yeah, you a lot have, of trout. You plant fish, right? The little. Uh, no, no. Two to six pounders. Uh, two to. No, once, no, once not, a week. not two to six inches. No, two no, no, no. <laughs> two to okay. six pounders. Oh man. Those once a week, trout. about a thousand pounds. A thousand That's pounds. That's pretty good. Thousand wow. pounds a week. Wow. That's a lot of fish. And he's got some of the biggest smallmouth around in Northern California, right here on this lake. Yeah. You need to come out to Pardee and and check it out. And you have a website. It's uh, PardeeLakeRecreation.com. All right. Had a good day. Yeah. So, well, come back and join us next week on Fun Fishing. Fishing. Woo! Fun Fishing. Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay. Get some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout. Halibut's what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help yeah. you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. There you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Hey! Hey! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how Alan. to catch some fish Alan, today. Wait for me.